Morning special edition live thrift this morning on Wednesday. We are here with the king of Greenville thrifting. I don't know about that. The Sultan of South Carolina reselling Eric Hay. Say hi Eric. Hey, what's going on with guys? <laughs> Good to see you. Eric is here. Send Eric some love. We're down in his home turf. Uh, we're in Greenville, South Carolina. Technically right now we're in Travelers Rest, South Carolina, which is just a few minutes north of Greenville. We're going into this here thrift store. What is it called? Miracle Hill. Miracle Hill Thrift Store. I've never been here before, so this is a new thrift. Eric says it's good, so everyone say hi to Eric. Sending them, there's the fires coming in, all that stuff. So good morning, this is gonna be fun. All right, let's head into this thing, let's get it going. Thank you for all the fires, Trisha. That's super kind of you. And we are catching them just as they're unlocking the door. Thank you for the love from Savannah. Appreciate everybody who's watching live on TikTok. Hello, hello. Happy Wednesday. Morning. morning to you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Ooh, the chariot. Thank you so much. All right, Eric, what do you think? How many uh, how many items per car are we going to get? We going 20 and 20? I think we can shoot for that. 20 and 20? It's a man a quiet, calm confidence. I respect that. Tag sale, buck each for clothing with the purples. All right, remind me of the purple tags. Good morning, Ethan Blair. Miss, Mrs. Padre says, what's up, Eric? What's up? Mrs. Padre says, what's up, Eric? 929 is up from Savannah joining us here in Greenville. So I don't know nothing about this store, but we know it's got purple tags. Looks like a lot of men's clothes. So this will keep us busy. Um, what do y'all want to do first? Vote down below in the chat. Do you want short sleeve shirts, long sleeve shirts, pants or shoes? What are we doing first? Let me know down below in the chat. Welcome also to anyone who's watching this on YouTube. This full recording will be posted up on YouTube. Alabama in the house. Hello, user 46613. I got two votes for short sleeves. Just do a quick like spin through. Looks like kids clothes over here. Zapatos over here. Kids shoes, ties. What else we got over here? Looks like some hard goods and some electronics in the back corner there. Furniture, which we will not mess with today. Men's suits, how about jackets? I got three votes for short sleeves, so get your votes in. I'm gonna get my cart now. I would like jackets. I haven't seen jackets yet. Electronics to get a vote for. So, so far it looks like short sleeves is the winner and we know we're gonna start with the bigger sizes. So let's see, they are separated by size.
it means there's probably other flaws that I'm not picking up on right now. Um, I don't pick up Izod, no. Hey, Teach, how are you? Was so excited about an awesome Harley Davidson button down. $5.99, good one, nice. Anything cool on that button down, like big spell outs or flames or snakes, stuff like that that sells really well for Harley. Cool find on that $5.99. Harley user 866. Appreciate that. Love hearing about your finds, your flips. It's a good place to ask questions too. I'll bounce back and forth between the chat and actually making some money here. Most important thing is to share what I'm doing. Hopefully you learn a new brand or something new to look for at a thrift store. But ask questions. There's also a ton of really smart resellers in this chat right now. We got 60 people here on TikTok. If you're watching on YouTube, I'll get back to all the questions on there because that's a recording. I have time to get to them all, but TikTok will do my best. And if I don't get to them, there's other smart people that get to them. Here's a good brand here, FootJoy, especially this time of year. This sells well. Just sold one of these over the weekend. What do we got here? Size medium, not the best size, but that's okay. Kind of like the stripey pattern, dark color. I'm going to pick this up. This will be $4.75, and that'll be... Uh, I'll list this for $24 plus shipping. Good condition on that, no pulls. Doesn't look like any stains, so here we go. Lavicia Baldwin is live from Santa Barbara. Hello, Lavicia, hope you're well. So shredded jeans, okay, worn shirts, not. Uh, yes, yeah, the, if you buy, there's a lot of nuance there, but yeah especially certain jeans brands people are actually looking for for shredded or thrashed or distressed jeans that's actually like a style people are looking for that kind of thing but nobody's looking for thrashed foot joy golf balls. Uh, so yeah you got a good read on that so we got a couple early hits i'm feeling good about this section right here we're getting into some bigger sizes plaid patterns maybe a flannel you know i like my flannels Good morning, Nori. Hope you're doing well. Here we go. Here's a flannel. It's a vintage LL Bean tag right here. Vintage Bean. And what do we got for a size? It's a men's large. It's like a 90s LL Bean tag right there. It's a flannel shirt. And again, with vintage, it doesn't have to be as in perfect condition because somebody's looking for something vintage. So if it's got a little bit of wear or a little bit of fading that can actually add to it. Um, sometimes vintage just means it's an old shirt. In this case,
screws here, but it's got a, I would probably pick this one up because it's a bigger size. It's a size 17, 34, 35, and it's a nice pattern. And I don't see this pattern a lot in Brooks Brothers, this colorway and this pattern. But, so I'd pick it up for 475, but it's a gut ring around the collar, so I'm gonna pass on it. Everyone, I just sent Eric into the chat, so you can give Eric a follow. There he is, he's in the chat. He's gonna put something, he's gonna put a comment down below. If somebody could pin Eric's comment. It's Eric from Big E Sales. There he is saying, what's up, peeps? Can somebody, can somebody uh, pin that comment? Everyone, go give Big E Sales a follow. Guy really knows his stuff. Guy is a really good reseller and a nice guy and a good supporter of our community. Thank you for pinning the comment, Tina. Go uh, click on Big E Sales name. Give him a follow. We're trying to get him to a thousand followers so he can go live and we can do dual lives. So he can be showing you what he's picking up. I can show you what I'm picking up. Y'all are gonna laugh. I might pick up this chap. So we got a 2X tall chaps. I, I don't know, I think I'm gonna pass on it, but it's a polo shirt. It's a long sleeve polo. I bet you I can get like 15 to 20 bucks for this and y'all are gonna laugh. If you know what to pick on even mediocre brands, you can make some money. Thanks y'all for going up over there and following Eric. He's a super good guy. He knows the stuff you'll learn from him. Need a manager, code green. Need a manager, code green. Uh-oh, we got a code green, y'all. I don't know what that means, but it sounds dangerous. Red team go, red team go. Fall is coming, get the chaps, yeah. I've sold a few chaps recently, not for big money, but like more in like the 18 to $20 range. But the key for me is uh, it's got some uh, a cool look to it. It's a big size and it's a long sleeve polo. If this is a short sleeve, I'd probably pass on it. But there'll be a much lower listed supply of long sleeve polos. I bet you I can get 15 to 18 bucks for it. Code green. There's a Tommy. Thanks everyone for going over there and following Eric. Eric said, thanks for coming. Thanks for the new follows. Thank you. Thank you guys <laughs> very much. Appreciate it. <laughs> we got uh, I can't wait to do my own lives. We're getting live soon from Big E. Surf's up. Thanks for the heart. Me appreciate that so much. We got a dual live going on. Eric's over there. He's hauling. He's got a few things in the cart. Look at that pretty little sweater he's got in there. Thank you for looking up that Saint Rue brandy. It looks like selling for 38 on their website. That's 50% off of full price. Okay. Thank you for the retail price on that. Retail price doesn't really help so, so much with resale value, but anyone know this brand, Parish? Is this anything? Is this worth picking up? Tommy Hilfiger, you passed up. Yeah, I passed up on that on purpose. Nothing going on here. Kind of a Y2K tag with Tommy Hilfiger. No real vintage vibes on this. Uh, this would sit forever in the store. There's billions of those listed. Anything on this Parish? I don't know Christian Brooks, no on the parish. Cool, thank you so much. If you're not following Surf's Up Finds, follow him, you probably are. Puts out a ton of content, give him a follow too. You'll learn something today. He's probably gonna go to like seven thrift stores today. That's my over under, maybe six and a half is my over under. I usually do about four or five. Eric's a four or five. What are we gonna do today, three? Yeah. We're gonna do three today. Uh, I don't have <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're gonna get lunch in there too. And barbecue. All right, this is weird. So I'm gonna have to go down on these subtle things about thrift stores that are different. I never go, they're never facing this way. Like I have to go left-handed. This does not happen in my neck of the woods. That's a Polo Ralph Lauren pole. We're gonna pass on that as a size small. This will be a slow seller for me. I'm gonna pass on that. Bigger size, maybe even a large we'd pick up, but small. No thanks. Got to be really picky in the small sections. Here's a guy, Harvey. Pass on that, size medium. We're in the small and medium section, so we'll be more picky here as we move up in the sizes, we get less selective. Wish I could send picks in here for you. There you go. Uh, friendly reminder, we launched uh, Peak Blend Coffee, so my own line of coffee, partnered with Dynamite Roasting in Black Mountain, North Carolina. Just awesome people, awesome coffee. That's available if you click uh, up on my name, go to my website, it's the very first link. If you're a coffee drinker, it's a medium roast, it's USDA organic, it's fair trade. I'm gonna pass on that. There's a couple pulls on it, that's a borderline shirt anyway. Here's another one. 
size large, plain blue. I'm going to pass on this one. It's just um, kind of old school plain blue. It'd be a tough sell, a lot of listed supply on that one. I do pick up some Under Armors. You might even see me pick up some Under Armors, Armor, Under Armors today, but Chris loves L.O. Bean flannels and coats. Yeah, I do. Is your camera chest mounted? It's not, it's in my hands. Here's another, just kind of an older model. Golf polo, plain, solid, size large. I'm gonna pass on that one. If it had a pattern and is a little more modern, I'd pick it up, but there is nuance to this game for sure. Don't let the nuance scare you away. Just let the nuance keep you learning. I already see a foot joy right there. A few shirts in, so we'll probably grab that. I do pick up some Duluth, but a plain polo like this, I'm gonna pass on. Here's a foot joy that came out of the wrinkle machine. It's got a country cob logo, maybe. Cobbs Glen. Um, aside from the wrinkles, it's always hard to tell if there's stains on wrinkled shirts, you know what I mean? And there is stains on this one. So we'll put that one back. Could we get those stains out? Maybe. Do I want to spend the time doing that? No. And is it a 100% chance we can get them out? No. So I'm just not going to mess with it. Uh, do you list winter jackets if you pick them up now or wait till cool weather? I list them right now. Because either way, I got to get that work done. I got to get them listed. If they're not listed, they don't sell. And some winter jackets do sell in the middle of the summertime. I ship internationally on Depop, Grailed, and eBay. So it's winter in the Southern Hemisphere. The beginning of winter, actually. And also premium winter stuff sells year round. Mediocre stuff, not so much. Thank you for the follow, Chris Munez. Appreciate it. Welcome aboard. You also resell? You reselling curious? What sort of things do you resell? Like, what's your favorite stuff to flip? Thank you, Big Dog 15533. I do this every Tuesday, by the way, 1 p.m. Eastern time, and I put those recordings up on YouTube the following day. So I have a recording that's uploading right now. I think it's not done uploading, but it'll be uploaded at some point today, so you can watch yesterday's full live thrift. Door to door, no secrets. Share exactly what's going on, full transparency. Talk about what I'm picking, what I'm passing. So I pick these up especially. Sorry about that, I got a phone call, and for some reason when you get a phone call, even if you don't answer it, it pauses the live real quick, so I'm back. So 2XL, Brooks Brothers, I picked these up especially in the summertime, they sell well for me. Patterns do better and bigger sizes do better. So you get a 2XL, this is plain, solid, but it's still a go. I do pick up some king size, bigger sizes, unique patterns, I won't pick that one up. Here's another one of those. Is that the Mem Memphis Grizzlies logo right there? I already got one of these in my cart, so now I can actually bundle these together and sell a lot of two of them to one Grizzlies fan. The Grizzlies just traded for my man, Marcus Smart. One of my favorites, modern Celtics. Noop Pass. The Southern Tide. I'm going to pass on this one. It's a small size. We got no hit on the chest, but we do have, nope, I was going to say we do have a steam, but I don't think so. But anyway, small size. Ooh. LL Bean. It's not a denim. It's that, it's like that chambray. Size medium, not the best size, but this is like got all kinds of fall vibes going on. Nice little chambray cotton. Bean, throw that in the cart. Nothing crazy there, probably like a $20 shirt, $22 maybe. Bigger size would be a better pick on that. Here's a Tommy Bahama. We're always looking for linen and silk, and we're looking for like big, loud patterns, bright, bold, interesting. This is not bright, not bold, not interesting. It's also got like wear on the collar and stuff, so we'll pass on that. Yes, condition matters. Another one of those LL beans, same size, size medium. That means we can lop these together and get them to move quicker. Kind of, uh, again, that same kind of chambray kind of pattern. Two different colors, same size, same style, same brand. 
that's a nice uh we'll wrap that together i'll probably want these two together we'll do it for 35 dollars and i plus shipping and i won't accept offers on that i'll just make that flat price on ebay and uh we'll let it ride so the buyer gets a little bit of a deal it'll be i'll list at a little bit below market value market value would be like 20. i'll list those for 35 for the two so like 17.50 each and they get basically you know the combined shipping there now this is a more of a mediocre ll bean than the other ones because it's not that chambray pattern it's just a flat black it is a slightly better size size large but it's just plain black you know this is just such a common shirt the supply is so so high on this i'm gonna go ahead and uh I'm gonna pass on it in 475. It's not like crispy, crispy condition either. You can see some just like, you know, regular like wear from the washing machine. LL Bean is money. Some LL Bean is money. Some LL Bean is uh, really slow movers and it will just take up space in your inventory for a long time. But so you gotta be selective about that brand for sure. That's one definitely to dig a little deeper on and do your homework. for sure appreciate everybody's comments questions all that stuff appreciate all the likes too we got 2,000 likes appreciate y'all tapping the screen while you're sitting there that helps me out helps bring more people into the conversation which i think makes it more fun got 166 people over here on tiktok appreciate you spending part of your day with me i'm typically live at 9 30 a.m eastern time here on tiktok and shipping out orders in the morning but since i was coming down here to greenville south carolina to meet my man eric to live thrift i got my shipping done mad early and got on the road and here we are but uh, you can give me a follow now and that way you'll get the notification when i go live every morning and ship out orders you see exactly what items are selling for how long they take to sell what all my fees and shipping costs are good place to ask questions and stuff about shipping and all that i don't know anything about that logo there i'm going to pick this thing up just because it's a unique and different polo why not in the cart. Eric, show, uh, do you wanna show off your uh, your gift? Yeah, sure. Check that out, guys. Isn't that sick? That is awesome. Love it. Chris, that peak hit on the chest. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Eric. This is a gift, a kind gift that Eric surprised me with this morning. Uh, by the way, hello everybody if you're just joining. Thanks for joining. If this is your first time joining, welcome aboard. What I do is I buy stuff at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, and even the clearance sections at retail stores. And I sell those things online on eBay, Mercari, Poshmark, Grail, Depop, and Facebook Marketplace. Although I don't sell much on Facebook Marketplace anymore. But welcome aboard. Good to have you. I show you my whole process when I go to thrift stores, when I do these live thrifts and show you exactly what I'm picking up, exactly what I'm leaving behind. And I try to talk through all those little details, the nitty gritty, the differences in size, materials and all that stuff. So give me a follow if you haven't already. I go do a live thrift every Tuesday at 1 p.m. And then I post that recording up on YouTube the following day. So I actually have one from yesterday that's uploading right now. It should get up there pretty soon on YouTube. It might be done downloading or uploading. I'm not sure yet, but... Anyway, thanks for hanging out. We're gonna keep thrifting here. We got a lot more work to do. Yeah, a little double pony. Extra large. Sweet, so anything with like Ralph Warren, you're looking for unique. So you're like, hey, I haven't seen that double pony before. That's typically a good thing with Ralph Warren. It's a really crowded market, especially in smaller sizes, but this is an XL with that unique uh, double pony hit. I've actually never picked up that double pony uh, like that. I picked up double pony on a polo shirt, like a short sleeve, but never on a button down like that. So I can get that out. That's just dust. Yeah, you'll get that out. And even if that, honestly, even if that, even if those two stains were there, I'd still pick up this shirt, even if I didn't think I could get them out because that's just a unique piece in a big, that's bold nice. color. People are going to eat that up. That's a good find right there. Same name on YouTube. You can subscribe over on YouTube. It's Chris at Peak. I'm Chris at Peak on Instagram. I'm Chris at Peak on Facebook. I do post some different content on each of those channels too. So these long thrifts are over on YouTube. 
Um, by the way, you can just click on my bio up above or go to chrisatpeak.com and you can find all my platforms. But I'm Chris on Peak, Chris at Peak on all platforms, same name. And uh, Instagram, I'll post some daily sales where I dig in. So like say I sold this George shirt, which I wouldn't sell. That's a bad example. When this polo sells, I'll put a post up on Instagram and I'll let you know exactly why this sold for maybe a little bit more money than another one. And I'll give you some insight onto what to look for for Polo Ralph Lauren. So you can see that on Instagram, but you can't see that here on TikTok just because TikTok doesn't do photo posts really well. So we've done some long sleeves. We've done some short sleeves. Looks like we have a whole bunch more short sleeves to go over here. We do get some stuff in the cart. We're looking at about a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven ish. We got a niner in there. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Laura, what's up? My husband would wear that polo shirt. It's nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so we're gonna dig into some denim. I know 929 was asking about denim. Looks like we got some jackets in this aisle. My favorite things to resell are jackets, like jackets and blazers, like formal wear. I tend to uh, make the most money per item on those items, higher margin items. Chris at peak is Instagram and uh, 929 all the links to everything are uh, just click on my name up above. If you're watching this recording on YouTube, there's a link down below or you can just go to Chris at peak.com. You can find everything. It's all linked in one place, including all my shipping supplies, all the tools I use for my business, everything down to my thermal printer, the table that I ship on, my laptop, my keyboard, my laptop stand, everything that I use in my office is linked there. I think the shipping materials are one to pay attention to because there's a lot of mediocre shipping supplies out there. Sometimes the best price isn't the best buy for shipping materials. I've vetted a lot of those, uh, I've vetted all the shipping materials I use over the past five years and I've found some good consistent vendors that have quality items at good prices. So. If you're looking for poly bags and boxes and stuff like that, I got it all linked. And by clicking those links, that's how you can support me. It allows me to put out more content and devote time to uh, you know, editing and developing good, interesting, educational content for you. So if you click any of those links and you buy something, that helps me out. Even if you click one of those Amazon links and then you go buy something else, it actually helps, gives me a little bit of kickback too for driving traffic over to Amazon. It's kind of an interesting piece here, this gap. Like Y2K vibes gap, but they want $12 for it. It's like out of the question, but. If you looked up that thermal printer, I love that thermal printer. Thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard, good to have you. Blue Collar Treasures, your, uh, your peak squad level 11, how about it? 929, I remember you. It was just like yesterday or the day before. If it was Friday, I might not remember it. <laughs> but it was just a couple days ago. Appreciate you coming back, 929. Caroline, thank you for the, the well wishes. Abby, thank you for the heart me. Jory, thank you for the heart me. Thank you for the roses and the TikTok symbols, Jory. If you're not following Jory at Nature Coast, give him a follow. He's alive a lot, and he's being really transparent about his business. Um, he's growing his business rapidly and he's just being really honest about the journey which is really cool so if you're in a place where you're kind of early on ish or you know the middle of your reselling journey nature coast is a good person to follow because he's kind of learning and going and, and just kind of sharing it as, he, as it happens here's some nike shorts on an older gray tag these are like board shorts so what are these so a zipper with these metal things I don't know what kind of shorts these are. That looks like something's missing. There's definitely some wear there. We're going to throw these in the cart. I don't know what they are. They don't have loops, so they're not golf shorts. They almost look like board shorts, but those metal clasps are strange to me. It's like a dress pant thing. Abby, thank you so much for the fires. Appreciate that. Ooh, did we hit the goal? That's awesome. Thank you for the gifts. Appreciate that. Abby, if you're not following Abby, give her a follow. She's one of the nicest people here on this platform. She knows her stuff. She hangs out in these lives. She ans answers questions. She asks questions. She just supports people. These are good people to have in our community. 
And I don't just say this stuff because they're giving me gifts like David R is giving me gifts. Another person worth giving a follow. Awesome member of our community. Good supporter. It's a cool, this is a safe space to ask questions. Even if I don't get to your question here during the live, there's some really smart, well-intentioned people that will uh, answer your questions if I miss them. So jeans look like nothing. Maybe these modern Wranglers. Good morning. Thank you for shopping with us on this bright sunny morning. We have uh, today our purple bar clothing goes to $1 per item. And that does include up to our clothing with the letter P on the right tag. I'm not coming that way. Okay. I'm turning around here. Okay. Just let me know. Yeah, I hear you. If I'm in the way, just kick me. All right. Oh, Caroline, you know this store? I forgot to pay attention to the purple tag thing. Y'all got to remember me, remind me about that. Also, the Mental Health Ministry is having some meat for its food bank and its supplies up front. We have an area to place donations for that. We appreciate anything you can do. Thank you so much. Have a good day. All right, announcement over. All right, so I do pick up some Chaps blazers, but I only pick up Chaps if they're, I would pick this up if it was a big size, and actually I would pick up this pattern, but I'm talking like really big size, like 48, maybe even a 46L, but a 48R, a 50R, a 52R, I'd pick up this blazer, even though it's Chaps. You know, like Chaps, they sell that at Kohl's. They'll sell for me for in the mid 40s plus shipping, so $50 plus, including shipping. If it's a big size, I'll, I'm going to leave it behind at the 42L. It's just a high supply item, but by getting into those bigger sizes, you get into a lower supply. So that's the science behind that. Purple tags are a buck today. I keep forgetting to look for that. Is that purple? Caroline, sometimes you just deserve the abuse. Or at least I should say I deserve the abuse. I'm colorblind, by the way. So is that purple? Does that mean the suit jacket will be a dollar? If that's the case, I'll pick up chaps for a buck. In that pattern. In that condition. I'll pick it up for a buck. <laughs> I'll have to confirm that before I buy it. That makes me want to look back at these Wranglers. I forgot about the purple tag. Is this purple too? Right there? Yes, purple. I'm colorblind. That could be blue for all I know. 44 by 29. They're a big size. So this isn't like a big dollar pickup. It's a modern pair of Wranglers, but they're the carpenter jeans, which people look for, and it's a big size. So I'd probably pass. I already did pass at 475, but I'll probably pick at a buck. There's a little bit of heel drag, but that's not a super big deal. Eh, it's kind of moderate heel drag. Eh. For a buck, I'm going. Because I can sell them for 14 bucks and still make decent. Thank you all. Appreciate it. What's one brand? I got like five more jackets left. What's, and actually they might be suits too. What's one brand that you hope I find out of here? Let's manifest it. What's one brand that you hope is in here? One of your favorite brands. Nice pattern on this one. That's not the brand we're looking for. Thank y'all for the purples. Canali, I would love to find Canali. Twirly would be cool. I've never found a Twirly. Not one that was in good condition. A Brioni would be sick. Brioni would be sick, but we found a Ralph Lauren. I already know that that's a Ralph Lauren. So what do we got on that? It's 100% wool, and it's a size 48L. It's a good size. The pattern's meh. So there we go, Lauren, Ralph Lauren. Made in Canada, Tina. Made in Canada. But we got a stain right in the worst spot right there. So we're going to put that back. I would have picked that up. 
100% wool Ralph Lauren in a big size like that, that would be a $42 jacket. But with a stain, it's gonna be really hard to sell. You have to way lower the price and way be patient. Zagato. This is a weird freaking pattern on that. It's like textured. It's like a carpet. All right, that's it. Hello, Banks. Is that good? I found a great. I don't. I don't know what that one is. I found a great wool RL, but it had a bunch of stains. Yeah, you got to leave the stained ones behind. If you find like a blazer that can resell used for like two hundred dollars and it has a stain. I'd say you should probably pick that up, especially if it's like a subtle stain. But if it's a $40 plus shipping used blazer, you're going to have to price that so low. And you're going to have to wait so long for it to sell. Ball jacket, there you go, yeah. It was just not a good brand. I pass on 99.999% of chaps I come across. So don't get crazy about chaps just because I picked up one... Actually, I picked up two chips pieces today, but that was a $1 blazer with a nice herringbone <coughs> pattern, as somebody said in the chat. Herringbone. What makes one a summer blazer, certain material? Um, it's one of those things you'll know it when you, when you see it, Ethan. So you pick it up, it'll be lighter weight. It'll probably be like a polyester blend or a rayon blend. Um, sometimes you'll look at like Brooks Brothers, there'll be a Brooks Cool. That's a good tip that you got yourself a summertime blazer. And also like the patterns, you know, like a, a light blue or you know, something like that, or a seersucker would be a good summertime seller. And by the way, like wintertime blazers still sell in the summertime too. As people go to like formal events and weddings and whatnot. I'm in Greenville, that's crazy. Kay, that is crazy. Hi Kay. We're in Traveler's Rest, we're right up the street. But same diff, right? Going backwards here. Change it up. <laughs> so like kids' shirts now. Okay. Got some pants here. Looks like we got some seersucker. What do we got? Jones, New York, no thanks. Uh, Joseph A. Banks, I pass on 99.99% of them. There's some Joseph A. Banks I pick up. Big sizes, unique patterns, linen, silk, camel hair, but it has to be like both big sizes and a good pattern and uh, a material that's, uh, that's more uncommon has to be all of the above for me to pick it up or like a buck and that changes the game you know most of the advice that i'm giving or the suggestions i'm sharing are about you know buying stuff between five and eight dollars but if you can get stuff for a buck it sort of changes the whole it changes the whole list of pass and pick what's your best color to sell for polos oh i don't know um color is part of the formula it's a really small part of the formula the things that are going to be more important are brand uh, size, material, and pattern. Color, I don't know, probably blue, just because there's more blue out there than any other color for men's. But that doesn't mean it's a better seller. Just more of it out there. Quality, that's right. Color is something that I don't really focus on too, too much, except for it's like an ugly color. I'll pass on this Joseph A. Banks, there's just nothing going on there. It's not a big size. It's not linen, silk, or camel hair. So it just won't have much resale value unless it's a buck. But how do I know if it's a buck? They want 10 bucks each. I don't see like any kind of tag thingy on this one. If it was a buck, it might be worth picking up because I could sell it for like 20 bucks and make money. Remember, listing blazers and suits take you a little bit more time per item too. So for me, I have to make more margin per item for it to make sense. Cause I got to do more measurements, more photos, and then packing takes, you know, a little bit longer. But altogether, it ends up costing me like an extra, you know, 10 minutes maybe per item. The heck is that? 
classic clothing. Oh, it's a Land's End. Um, so yeah, I need a higher margin for blazers and suits because they take more time and I'm focused on dollars per hour, you know? If I buy a whole bunch of mediocre blazers, it takes me forever to list them all and they're not making me good margin, then I'd been better off just buying some shirts. Here's a Joseph A. Banks full suit. Looks like a bigger size. It's a 46L. It's a nice pattern. It's kind of got that subtle herringbone gray. 46L is a good size. If this is in crispy, crisp condition, and it's 10 bucks, 10's a, yeah, 10's not bad. I might pick this up. It's got suspenders too. Yeah, the pants are in rough shape, unfortunately. They're kind of pilled up and all that. And if I'm already seeing that here, when I get these home and I blast them into the photo lights, I'll notice more flaws if I'm seeing that wear already. So I'm gonna pass on this I could sell that for, that suit could sell for between 50 and $70. Um, if you were looking, asking me to put like a good number there, I'd say 50 bucks. But remember I cross list on, I'm on six different platforms. I promote all my items on eBay. I take really good photos. So, you know, I sometimes do get the top of the range for those. But with those flaws, I'm gonna pass on it because I know I'll regret it when I go to list those in a week or so. Here's a new tag saddle bread. It's a 54L. Um, it's a really boring pattern. It's not a great brand. It does have metal buttons. So it's got that unique factor going for it. Oh, they want 30 bucks for it, is what they're charging. So no way. That's about, it might be worth 25 bucks on the, on the eBay market. So I'll have to pass on that. It's a lovely jacket. You do take great photos. Well, thanks, 929. That's like one of the nicest compliments you can give me. You can compliment my, my product photos and you can compliment my beard and nothing means more than, to me than those two things. <laughs> so I sell old aircraft parts. That's really cool. I wish I was that cool. Now here's an interesting piece. This is a Stafford. I pass on 99% of this brand, but when it checks all the boxes, I could pick it up. It's not gonna check all the boxes though because it's got that stain. Bummer. But the pattern on this is great. Look at the, that's a peak lapel right there. So it's like a, a vintage look to it. It might, I don't think it's a vintage tag. It's not, it's a modern tag with a vintage look to it. But that pattern and the fact that it's a full suit, that would be a great pickup. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Come on, Eric, we're working. It's not supposed to be fun. You don't want to have HR talking to you again, do you? <laughs> Y'all, it's fun to just kind of work on your own time and work out of your own house and make your own rules and get to hang out with Eric for work. Isn't that cool? And I get to hang out with all y'all too. That's way better than going and listening to some boss that just don't get just don't get it. Actually, my last boss was awesome. Sorry, Jess, if you're watching. Um, but this is cool. Just being able to go out, work at your own pace. Sometimes that means we're working more hours than when I had a jobby job, but at least I'm doing what I want to do, you know? I'm tired today. I was up late last night trying to I struggled to get that YouTube video yesterday's live thrift up. Oop, here's a Harris Tweed. Never mind. Quit talking, Chris. Show us money. You don't want to hear your life story. I just paid off my car, my car a month early. That's sick. Have you shopped this store before? Never. Man in wool. I don't think this actually is a Harris Tweed, but it looks like a Harris Tweed. Designed by Alan St. George. If it was Harris Tweed, it would have a tag that said it. And it's not. But it's a really cool pattern. I think this could still sell. It's got the leather buttons too. So Harris Tweed is like this pattern, typically really thick, heavy wool, but it would have a Harris Tweed tag on it and it doesn't. Harris Tweed is, could have a lot of different brands on it. If it's not a brand, it's the person, it's the, uh, the company that supplies the fabrics to the brands and it's a really specific wool. 
Doing all right. About Mickey golf hats. If that's in good. Together. So this is a super modern look on a on a golf hat. So I think that's in right now. So I would pick that. They're oh, they're the same. same. Yeah, I would if they're in good condition. Some has been what the thing. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, do people buy two hats? I don't know. What do y'all think? Would you sell those Nike golf hats, both the same exact like style? Dollar a piece. They're a buck a piece. Would you sell those as a lot, or would you sell those individually? I've never lotted up two hats before, but if I was ever to do it, that seems like the time to do it. We'll see what the chat says. Chat knows best. I was listening to a podcast on the way down here about chat GPT, but I think this chat is smarter than G chat GTP. I'm just saying. So we got all kinds of votes coming in here. This is an interesting topic. Individual separately. Individual, individual. Hats are gas. <laughs> individual. Individual. I don't know why that made me laugh, but it did. Individual, individual. I would buy both individual separate. Okay. A lot of individual. I think the uh, the votes are individual. Oh, my. OMG, nice jacket. Yeah. So back to the nature of hand. We got a Ralph Lauren. People are psyched about it. At least Nori's psyched. I'm fairly psyched too. No size tag. That's okay. We'll just measure the jacket. And that, that can help me figure out what exactly what size it is. I have to measure it anyway and put those measurements in the description so no extra time for me this is a bigger size i can tell just by looking at it it's probably a 48r it doesn't look like a long nice pattern on this so we got a, a hound's tooth pattern nice colorway you could wear this all seasons that could be a nice summertime jacket could be a nice spring fall jacket and it could be a nice wintertime jacket i like hound's tooth jackets it looks like it's gonna be a regular price, which is, there is seven bucks for a blazer. All day on this, this is a easy 42 plus shipping for me. I might even price it a little bit higher, especially if it's a 48. If that's a 48, it's going up at $49 plus shipping. If it's like a 44, I'll put it up for probably 45 plus shipping. Most, if that was more of a plain Ralph Warren, I'd put it up for, uh, for 42. But those are the prices that work for me. It might work differently for somebody else based on your photos, based on your interest and like how fast you want to flip things. Like your, uh, you know, your uh, appetite for holding on to inventory. You can price higher if you're willing to wait a little bit longer. I am, I got the space to do it. I also cross list on six different platforms. So sometimes I can price a little bit higher, but either way, that should be minimum $35 plus shipping. But I think I can get more. The place I go is $20 per suit blazer. Well, a lot of these thrift stores, they can't get rid of the blazers. I went to a local thrift store, I don't know, maybe uh, six weeks ago, and I picked up four blazers and the people couldn't have been happier. I think that was the day they told me that blazers are, were free or something like that. It was crazy, or maybe they were a buck. I, I think they said they were free, but I gave them money anyway. Here's a saddle bread, nice pattern. I'm gonna pass on it because I can see some wear on, well, is that wear? I think it's wear. Looks like like sweat. I don't know. Uh, I pass on most saddle bread. I do pick up some unique patterns if they're both unique and big. It's a 46L, so that would count. It's seven bucks. Mm, I'm gonna pass on it. You could make some money off of this. I have a lot of blazers borderline for me that's probably a 25 to 30 dollar item and like i said i like to keep uh, i like to keep the margins high on blazers because they take me more time to list and ship and all that that's a banks it's not very big it's sort of unique but i'm gonna pass on it that's a, probably a 25 dollar plus shipping blazer right there that's not worth my time seven into 25 for a blazer is just too much work what is the average distance from Asheville? do you shop um uh, 10 miles from my house. I usually stick close. Here's another saddle bread. Some of these sell well. Uh, I'm gonna pass on this. Looks like it's a cotton one. I pass on 99% of saddle bread, but sometimes the unique ones in big sizes I will slow down at and maybe pick. All right, we're through those. I don't know if Eric, what's Eric's done, so we gotta regroup. I don't want to double back and start looking through stuff he's already looked through because he knows his stuff. I'm not going to find anything that he doesn't know about. He is at that level of a thrifter that I can't pick 
I can't pick behind him and find anything. He's good. Favorite suit brands, Canali, Hermenegildo Senya, uh, Brioni. There's a few for you. I pick up a ton of Ralph Warren though. Thank you for the follow, Justin. Thank you for the follow, Wilson. And it's a good time to thank all my OG followers, people who have come here every single day. Even 929, who's a new follower, but he's come back, I think, like three days in a row now. So thanks so much, 929. Thanks for hanging out. I do this every Tuesday, 1 p.m. I go to a, a live thrift in Asheville. But today we're doing a special edition. We're here with Eric, who's the king of Greenville reselling or the Sultan of Greenville reselling, the King of Greenville thrifting. He's over there. I don't know what he's looking at over there, but anyway, thanks for hanging out, everybody. If you haven't followed, consider giving me a follow. I do this every Tuesday, 1 p.m. And every morning, 9.30 a.m. during the week, I go live and I ship out orders and I talk through all the details. I talk to you about what sold, how much it sold for, how many days it sat in my inventory. And then I go over the fees and the shipping costs and we can answer questions about shipping, which scares a lot of people. Don't let shipping scare you. You'll make some mistakes, but you'll figure it out and it won't be any problem. So give me a follow. Also subscribe over on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook. Same name, Chris at Peak. I got links to everything up above. Thanks for hanging. I would love to get into this. Kay, you can do it. Thanks for the follow, Simone. Chris is the best. Thanks, Kit Kat. I don't deserve that. Tiffany, thanks for the follow. Travis George in the house with some fires. Should I reset the goal? I think I'll hit the goal. Nope, never mind. I lied. Didn't mean to jump the gun on that. Thanks for the follow, Greg. Simone, thanks for the roses. Travis George, thanks for the fire right on cue. I didn't mean, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. All right, we'll reset the goal here. Thank y'all. What do we want this morning? You know what I like. Got a dog goal now. Thank you so much. I see you, Travis. I see you, Felix. Eric, Eric's trying to steal stuff out of my car. What did I miss? Oh, did you pick the jackets? I went through. Warren How Ralph. Did I miss that? Warren Ralph Warren, and I think it's a bigger size. I think it's like a forty-eight with a hound's tooth. I didn't mean to be. I pick... think you distracted me. <laughs> I wasn't trying to pick behind you. I was trying. No, you're good. Man. Because I know that that's not a worth worthy effort. Did you see that one much. picture girl come right in there and cut your head off? I saw. Yeah, I saw what she was up to. I respect the game. I respect the hustle. That's cool. Oh, I did. Too. I don't even know if I she. Thought it was funny. I don't know if she even got anything she though. But. Dead at you. She goes, yeah, oh, yeah. I respect That's it, funny. man. I respect it. You know, she's got rent to pay, too. <laughs> let's uh, let's get a check-in on Eric's cart. Can we look in there? It's not anything great, but it's bread and butter, I call it. So. We got a Titleist, too. That's a different one. I haven't seen that one before. Ooh, I, like the, I like the big large. flex fit hit on the back. These are bread and butter stuff. I know I'm not going to make a lot of but it's... That's all right. Bread and butter pays the rent, baby. Yeah. I like that one. Is that a? I'm a single dad with kids, so I've got to make what I can make. That's right. You just got to do what you got to do. There's a lot of people that can relate with you. What's that? Chickadee? That's. I mainly got it because it's Penn State. I pit. I mean. Oh, pit. Nice. Cut a couple pit pieces. Making a mess out of your thing. Ooh, we got Dolphins piece right there with the new logo. That's a team with the NFL team. Nice. Size large. I like it. That Ralph Warren with the cool hit on the chest. Love that. Double pony. What? What is this I'm not going to pay $12 on that. I've got a card that'll take it in half. Nice. So six bucks. That's sick. We got any Seahawks fans in the house? You need that sweater. Uh, opening day is coming soon, right? Yeah. September? First big week of September? Lucky brands, 40. We got a big size on those. Lucky's nice. I kept forgetting to look for the purple tags. Let me get out of this oh. Seer Suckers, what's the brand on those? What's the brand uh, on those? It's a uh, polo. Rough, rough one. No way. Yep. That's a great find. Good size, too. Well, not the greatest size, but it's a good size. I think there were 36 or 38. Uh, 38s. Awesome. That's a great find. See your sucker, especially right now. You list those at a competitive price. They could be gone inside a couple of days this time of year. And when, I always, when you ever see me put stuff up here, I'm deciding whether or not I'm going to get them or not. But Got it. Under Armour. What do y'all think about these Under Armour tights? What do they want for them? They're women's? Yep. Women's large, heat gear. How much do they want for them? Five bucks? <laughs> Is that what the price Oh, no, no, no. They're cheaper than that. Okay. And I always get cycling jerseys because I sell them. 
I'll sit on them. PLC is a good brand too, right? Their helmets are like really expensive. You know that. Nice I'll, one. I'll probably get about $25, $30 off of that jersey. That's a medium too. Nice. It's, it's, kind of, it's kind of funny that uh, it does the opposite. You know, you want to get the, usually the larger sizes. But in cycling gear, you want to get the lower sizes, and also, Cause and the, good brands. Because if they're riding, the cheap if they're riding bikes so much that they need a cycling jersey, they're probably a lot skinnier than I am. Yeah. <laughs> good stuff, Eric. And then, um, free plant. size thirty four. It's not a great size, but I'm debating. I've never picked up that brand before. Free plant. I see I've it. I've sold free plant before. Yeah. We got some, you got some fans. Biggie, nice stash from Carol Ann, 929 says, good job to your friend. That's an amazing sweater. $20. I don't know which one was the $20 thing. Sorry, Carol Ann. Thank you for the fo follow. Lisa, appreciate having you. I paid two to three for those under armor. Okay, cool. Good to know. Stacy with the follow. What do we got? Good brand shoes for women. Uh, they, they sell for me anyways. I usually get anywhere from 20 to $25. How much do they want for the shoe? Ship. Uh, six, I think it's five or six dollars. I, I would think that that loud pattern would help it sell quick too. Good sell through on that. It's hardly worn, just a little dirty, but beautiful. I never heard that brand. Clean it up, it looks good. I'm hanging out with sell Eric. I'm learning. I don't even know if I've seen these before because there's no way I wouldn't look that up if I seen it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Are they all loud patterns like this? Yes. Very I cool. mean, of course, they'll have like the regular plane, but most of the time they have loud patterns. Yeah, Eric is doing awesome. Y'all down in the chat, let me know yes or no, or Y or N, do you know Allegria? Do you know Allegria as a shoe brand? I'm curious how many people already know about that brand, including Eric, that haven't told me about it. <laughs> nice job, bud. Doing good. Uh, so I hit, so I went here, here, there. And then I hit the blazers on the end of this. I haven't done any of those pants, but I think you hit all those pants, right? Did you do both sides in the pants? I just kind of skimmed through it. I didn't really. That's all I'd. Do. That's all I would do either. Also, anyway. There's a, I, no, there's a, I, well, there might be a seersucker, but I, it was in the low, uh, low size, small size. I think it was down on, down on that. I didn't even bother looking at it. No. Oh, I, I can see the seersucker from here. I'll look at that one. Just. I'm gonna, uh, I had, I had a glass. Awesome. I can see the seer sucker across the room. Nautica, I'll pass on those. But this is like really, you know, if you see seer sucker, just run right to it, especially this time of year. And it's like stands out on this rack of like pants. Sorry, from across the room, it's a good one to look up if you see the seer sucker. Corduroys are good to look up. Even in mediocre brands, patterns like this are good to look up. But obviously the brands matter, but good patterns like this can help go. They don't feel into quality, so I'm going to not even look them up. But they fit with them. over $100 for the Allegri's. Yes, goodbye. Yes, nurses soon. He has secrets. He does. But we're trying to get him to unlock his secrets. So if y'all give Biggie Sales a follow... Can somebody put Eric's name, by the way, in the chat right now? Can someone put Big E Sales, whatever his like actual at thing is, down below in the chat for me so people can go follow him. If he gets to 1,000 followers, then he can go live, and I think he was at like 400-something before this live today. So let's get him to 1,000. We want to unlock Eric's secrets because he knows a lot of stuff. And I say that like not pumping him up. The guy... Honestly, I think he's got more reselling knowledge than me, if I'm being perfectly honest. He knows his stuff. Every, like, I'm always learning stuff from him. He's sending me, like, texts with bolos of brands I've never heard of. He'll send me, what I like, my favorite thing about Eric is, and this is, like, one of my favorite things, too, but he finds brands that aren't particularly valuable, but he'll find the right thing in that brand, and he'll send me a freaking bolo but, or he'll send me a sale where he sold something like like a chaps item for like 35 bucks or something. I'm like, how the hell did you sell that for 35 bucks? But he just knows the right things to look for that even in mediocre brands will still sell. We got a fresh rack here. So we're gonna eat this fresh rack up, yum, yum. So this is the inventory that they haven't put out on the racks yet. So it hasn't been picked over yet, but by a couple people, we might pick up this Nike Golf if it's in good condition. 
these Nike Golf jackets can often be in rough shape because of uh, because people are using them for golf. You know, like it's a piece of gear more than it is a piece of clothing. Uh, this looks like it's in good shape. It's a size 2XL golf pullover piece, a windbreaker. Um, these typically sell for about $25 plus shipping on me. Hey, it's Vesti Baby checking in. What's up? Hope you're well. The guy is the man with the legend. He's good. You know, there's loud mouths like me, and I'll say it, like there's loud mouths like me who are on all these platforms talking and sharing knowledge. And sure, I know my stuff, but the people to look out for are the quiet ones. The ones that aren't posting a ton of content that are just instead got their head down. Some of you are in this chat, you got your head down, you're thrifting, you're making money. And uh, I respect it a ton. And Eric's one of those guys, but we wanna get them. There we go, Big E Sales. Carol Ann just uh, put his name in the chat. Go do a quick search for that Big E Sales. That's his name. Thank you, Carol Ann, for doing that. She pinned it too, so thank you. Give him a follow. Let's get him to a thousand followers. Let's unlock him so we can get all his knowledge. Let's turn him from one of those quiet people lurking in the corners with all the knowledge let's get him that he's already part of the community but let's get him louder into the community by letting him get to a thousand followers and go live and share his stuff he is a smart cookie he's a good guy too you probably gather that from me coming down and hanging out with him still waters run deep i like that i like that like gas silent but deadly <laughs> Sorry, my typos, I'm thrifting also. There's Big E Sales, he went in there. Good timing, brother. People are looking for you to follow. They're like searching your name on TikToks. So just tap on his name now and hit the follow button. It won't cost you any money. And it won't take you but a second. Those are the best things in life and he'll teach you stuff. We just gotta get him to a thousand follows. He's already putting out content. But I could see him going live and live thrifting and teaching us a ton of stuff. This shirt's really cool. No boundaries, not a good brand, but that's a cool shirt, huh? Reminds me of like that Yo MTV Raps, that old logo. Anyway, off the fresh rack, we found one item anyway. There we go, this right here. Uh, Colts Comics actually has this same blazer. Hey, hey Jeremy, how are you, buddy? Colts has the same blazer. It's a little bit of a bigger size. This is a small, he has it medium. It looks great on him. Let me know if you want another one, Jeremy. This one's a little smaller. You might have to hit to uh, hit the treadmill a little bit to get that one on, but let me know if you want me to pick that up. Thank you, Andres, for the follow. Welcome aboard. If you're not following, why not give me a follow too? I do this every Tuesday. Today's a special edition. I'm away from home, thrifting on the road. I'm in about 45 minutes away from my house down here in Travelers Rest, South Carolina. Went over the border over the border for today. It's a bunch of women's stuff on the freshie racks. I'm just gonna cherry pick some jackets, hoodies, fleeces, that kind of thing. I'm not gonna dig too deep into this stuff. I focus more on men's. Occasionally, I do pick up, probably 5% of my sales are women's, but usually it's stuff that they miss rack in the men's section that's actually women's. But I respect and appreciation to all my uh, ladies, like women's clothing resellers out there. There's money to be made there too. There's money to be made in all the nooks and crannies of this thrift store. As long as you spend the time, you learn that niche. There's money to be made everywhere. The These word things. of the day. Laugh. laugh. Here we go. <laughs> Find it in everything that you do. Laugh at least. Laugh. Yep. I love it, man. Guy's all right, huh? told you to follow him some of you listened some of y'all didn't actually i'm going to check on your work and i'm going to see how many followers he has now where was his comment looking for a whole lot of brands geo i got a uh, more than a thousand videos here on tiktok talking about all kinds of different brands but as always we talk about learning beyond the brand and figuring out the items that are worth picking in a whole variety of different brands i got some mediocre brands in my cart I picked the right items from that. So that's about learning what to look for. It's the materials, it's the bigger sizes, it's silks and linens, it's patterns that are unusual or unique. 
That's a lot of these blankets. I don't even know where to begin with these. I'll tell you what, I am not a blanket reseller. I've got a Disney blanket though. That's not Disney. That's just like a random thing. Orange barbed throws. I'm not gonna play in the, I don't know what I'm doing. Why am I in the, in that section? Oh, there it is, Big E Sales. Thank you for pinning that. We got them up to 386 followers. So appreciate y'all for, for clicking on Big E Sales and giving them a follow. We, if we can get them to a thousand, we unlock his knowledge. And he can start teaching us. We'll do a quick spin of the hard goods. This is an item. I actually have one of these in inventory. So this is missing the little scope on the top, which is fine. They want 350 for it. It's in okay condition. This is a decent seller. Uh, I'm gonna pass on it without the scope. And just because I don't really focus a lot on toys, there's money to be made on that item, but I'm gonna pass on it. I have sold a few of these nerfs with that, that Fortnite nerfs. But that one's incomplete, which is fine. Somebody will still buy it just for a little bit less money. Christmas sells year round, y'all. If you know what to look for, if you're a Christmas picker, you know that plushes sell year round too. I just don't know crap about plushes. It's really not my favorite thing to dig through a big bin of plushes. I respect it if that's what you do. There's a Disney little mini. I couldn't tell you what that's worth. Probably not much. I always look for Build-A-Bears. I look up Disney things when I come across them. Those goons are worth looking up for. I'm probably, or looking up, I know, probably not saying it right. What is this guy? I got something to start by walking off with it. Oh my gosh, don't do that. Sealed. What do they want for it? Forget it. it. Unless it just happens to be like a weird one-off rare one, which I doubt. It. It's probably super mass-produced. When the uh, when COVID hit, puzzles. I was buying these brand new like this, and I was selling them for thirty, forty dollars a piece. Yeah. What do you think now? I've, I'm I've, sitting on. It. I've sold some Ravensburger over the, or ra the, Raven. You, you do want to look for that if you, you say Ravensburger, right? Yeah. That's how you say it. I've sold some, and it, the piece count matters mm -hmm. too, right? The, yeah. That one's yeah. kind of like a low piece count, but if you got like a 5,000 yeah. or 6,000, something like that, it's worth more money. Oh, but th feel the weight on that though too. Cool. But yeah, I used to now that you mention it, puzzles. Now that you mention it, I think every puzzle that I sold was actually just happened to be during uh, the yeah. COVID times. That was just dumb luck more than anything. That wasn't smart. Super smart. That's what resellers and hustlers do. They figure out things. Hey, check this out. This is something I always look for. Oh, that's nice. STI. It's like that Subaru Racing. Of course, it's open. It's probably incomplete. Oh. I don't know. That's worth it. Counting. That's no. That's probably pieces. worth looking up though, because people go crazy for like that, that, S, that SDI stuff. I think it's worth looking up. I can't. But if somebody wants to look up in a Subaru STI puzzle printed in the USA, it was Megan's. You know, somebody, like Eric was saying, even just for the tin, people love this STI stuff. It's the racing stuff from, uh, from Subaru, STI. People love that stuff. I find, like, even, like, bad brand clothing that has an STI, STI embroidery on it, stuff sells really quick for me. Hats too, those sell really quick. Ray the reseller, thank you for the follow, welcome aboard. For 150, I'd take the risk on it, nice. Yeah, for me, I'm more focused on just sharing when people look for STI stuff and when you find STI, look it up. I mean, that's kind of, I've never seen a puzzle before, but on clothing, that logo usually means good money quick. So 
one list and none sold. Thank you, Tina. And that's the thing too, like I don't really like listing puzzles and games and counting puzzle pieces. It's just not my thing. Um, I focus on clothing. If that was gonna be potentially worth a lot of money, I'm going on it. But if it's just a borderline, yeah, it's missing the scope on it. But same thing, you can make money off that. I'm just not into like toys and packing big items. I'm set up to move clothes, but shoot, if I can make 50 bucks off that, I'm gonna sell that, but um, I'm not gonna make 50 bucks off that, so. Sometimes it's, it's not worth my thing. to also take it apart and sell it in sell, pieces. Sell them in parts, yep, absolutely. I also lot them up a lot of times too. They just tend to move a little faster for me, and it's like, instead of packing up like four big boxes that are annoying to pack that I don't like doing, I just do one and sell all four, you know? I counted Star Wars puzzles pieces, four sets, never again, yeah. Puzzles are not the jam really anymore. There's uh, exceptions to every rule, but they're not the jam anymore. Kila, thank you for the follow, and thanks to everybody who hangs out here every single day. Leah, Tina, appreciate all that. Firecracker pizzas in the house. Missy's here. Uh, appreciate everybody that just supports me all the time. Over all these years, three years now of putting this content out here. Let me flip this around. I'm gonna say goodbye to y'all. This is gonna we're gonna wrap this thing up. All right, we're out. I think we're gonna wrap this up today. I I think I got something 15 to 20 ish items in the cart. And I think Eric's got a similar account. We said our goal was 20 and 20. So we're pretty close to that, not bad. And that's the thing, we got two of us. There's so much stuff in here that you can take two resellers that really know their stuff and you can come in here and there's enough stuff for both of us. Um, so this stuff is out there. You just gotta get out there and hustle. Anybody can do this. Even Eric can do this. <laughs> With four kids. <laughs> With four kids. So. Uh, anyway, thanks everyone for hanging out. Robin's here too. Appreciate all of you. We're going to sign off for now. We're going to go live again in a little bit. I don't have a time estimate for you, but I'm going to go out live at least one more time. I'm going to charge up the phone in between. We're going to go to another thrift store. We'll see you soon. If you missed some of this, give me a follow right now and then actually go over to YouTube. Click up at the link up above. Click on my name and you can go subscribe to my YouTube. It's Chris at Peak. This whole recording will be up on YouTube tomorrow. And I did drop the live thrift from yesterday. It should be done uploading maybe-ish now. It took forever to upload, but I think it's almost done uploading or maybe uploaded. So subscribe over Chris at Peak on YouTube and give me a follow down below. I go live thrifting every Tuesday. Today's a bonus edition. I'm going to go live again today. If you want that notification, give me a follow. Also, give me a follow over on Instagram. I put some uh, different types of content up on Instagram, more educational stuff to, uh, to help you learn and grow and get started with this business. Love this community. We'll talk soon. Peace.